Hey there, hello Jangle Heroes. All right, we're heading out on our Camp Catch Cook April Challenge for the Stealth Camping Alliance. We will be camping. She will be catching. But we're not cooking what we catch because I'll tell you more about later, but you don't want to eat the fish out of this lake we're going to. But it's a lake that's actually on a college campus. So it's definitely not supposed to be camping here. So we got a little bit of a hike and I will bring you back in a little bit. Okay, there's a lake. We're going down this ravine. I don't know if you can hear it, but there is some sort of sport ball game going on in college right across on the other side of the lake and up the hill. here fishing right now okay so the tent is going down here but that'll be later once it starts getting dark because it's too much in view the other side of the lake got a little hangout spot sitting up there but the two good spots between the spot have dead limbs hanging over them So we'll just wait and set up the tent later. It's about six o'clock. Uh, Erica did a little fishing. We're just chilling out. It's cooling off finally. We're gonna do dinner in a little while. We actually did a little impromptu walk up to a service station. Got a little, some seltzers and a couple beers. Cause it was just too hot. We needed something other than whiskey and water. So it's actually feeling really nice now. There's a little bit of breeze. It's a little bit cloudy. It's a slight chance of rain. Nothing much. I think we'll be fine. And yeah, I'll bring you back when it's dinner time. Okay, it's about time to get dinner started. So what we're gonna have are these vegetarian Cajun chicken pieces. So we're going to fry those up in the pan here and then put them on top of rice, which these are meant to be microwaved, but I think we put them in a pot and put them on a slow simmer until they heat up. Should be just fine. So let me get all this set up and bring you back in a minute. Okay, let's get this going.
Got the diffuser plate. Here we go. Cajun chicken, veggie chicken, and rice. That was really good. Mm. That's good. First time either of, either of us have this one. Okay, so part of the Outdoorsman's challenge for April was also gear review, if you wanted to. So I'm going to review a few things tonight. And the first one is going to be this flipper knife. It's a Kubi, K-U-B-E-Y, anteater. And it gets the anteater name because of the shape of the blade. It curves down. It's kind of a inverted, curved down sheep's foot. It's a um, kind of mid to upper range budget knife. You can get it for about $60 on Amazon. I'll leave a link below, but the flipper, ceramic bearings, comes very sharp. It's got elevated jimping here for your thumb, jimping back here for your finger and here for your palm. And it kind of has like a karambit feel. If you want to use it like that. And it's a liner lock. So you just put the liner in, gravity drop. Very smooth. It's really good. I like this. It's got a, the handle is G10, which is really popular with knives right now. So it's like a, thin layered pressed fiberglass that they can make in you know any color this is kind of like a light olive color and it's just it's solid like there's no nothing gives up or down side to side super smooth really nice link in the description below I like it. Okay, so the next gear review is the Big Agnes Copper Spur tent. It's a two person tent, but this is the bike packing version. So it's a short stick, which means 
all the poles collapse down to no more than 12 inches so they can fit on your front handlebars of a cyclocross or gravel bike. So let's get this set up. Okay, there it is. Got a little vestibule. You can zip that shut. Then inside. It's a good size for two people. Close that since that's the closed side. And we will put our sleeping bags and everything in here. And should be good. It's super light, super compact. And it is the two layer, so you're not going to get the condensation like you would with a single layer tent. Places to hang stuff there or put into the pocket. Little hanging points there. Yeah, there it is. All the bedding set up, ready for later. And like I said in a previous video, if you can, bring a pillowcase for those inflatable pillows. It makes a huge, huge difference in comfort. So, let's seal this up. And we will get into that later. Okay, we are hanging out in our tarp. Got some lights up. They're really low. You can't really see them outside the tarp, so it's perfect. So we're gonna chill here. Have some ramble on by Star Hill. Check our link in the description for our other channel, The Rambler's Exploration where we explore abandoned places, which we will be combining those two channels soon in stealth camping in some abandoned asylums. Yes. So. Sorry, I just switched that. There was this, <laughs> a, little, a little bug landed there. I got yeah. it. <laughs> right. Salancha. Okay, so we just got to the dam area. And as soon as we got here, the otter or beaver or whatever it is immediately started splashing around. Like it does not want us here and her fishing. Okay, it is bedtime. Got our bedding set up and we are going to bed. Good night. Good night. Good morning.
<sighs> oh. <laughs> she slept really well. Well, I slept really well. <laughs> Me not so much. So, let's get up and make some coffee. Coffee time. This time we have some actually really good coffee. From Fresh Market, Tiramisu flavored coffee. I haven't had this yet, so I'm really excited to try it. Okay, let's get some breakfast going. I'll do a couple sandwiches with some really nice farm fresh eggs. Cheese, of course, and some of the fake bacon. A little bit of salt. Pepper. Garlic. 
lots of garlic. And some smoked paprika. Half cheddar, half American. One. And two. Oh, they're finally biting. Yay! Okay, well, she is down there doing some more fishing this morning before we head out. I want to do one more review, or gear review, and that is going to be this little keychain flashlight. This is the Robivon A8, and I absolutely love this flashlight. It's just barely bigger than a AA battery, but it packs a lot of power. So it has a 330 milliamp hour lithium battery, maximum output of 650 lumens. It's really bright. And it's just a whole lot in a little package. So it has double click. You have four different modes. And I'll put all the information specs over here, like run times and all that. But I do know the lowest setting is half a lumen. And it doesn't look very bright, but when it's pitch black, it's enough to get you around and get you where you need to go. And a full charge on that half lumen setting, it'll last for 72 hours. You just hold the button down, or you can hold it down to get the maximum turbo mode. Double click, go through all four levels, hold it down and turn it off. But that's not all. So if you triple click, you get a UV light, which is really hard to see in the daylight. But this is great for if you're checking currency because they, they all have the, the UV reactive strip in them. Or if you want to see how completely nasty your cheap motel room is which I don't suggest doing that don't don't do that so you have the UV light then you have a red light for nighttime to see around and preserve your night vision then single flashing and then the quick flash but this is great if you're a cyclist or like for me with the uh, electric unicycle if I'm out later than I expected 
then I can throw this on the back of my helmet and traffic can see me. Also, if you click four times, then you have a white light, kind of like a floodlight in the side. And there's two settings for that. So L is, has USB-C charging and an IPX rating of six. So it's pretty water resistant. It has a removable pocket clip that has a magnet built into it. And then there's a magnet on the end here that's also removable if you don't want that. And it comes with two different sized key rings. So it's a fantastic little light. Like I love it so much. So Roby Ron, if you're anyone is watching, I love your products. I'd love to review some more. But yeah, that's the last review. Oh, looks like she got one. Oh, yeah. Yay. Sweet. Yeah, so the reason we're not cooking anything she catches that the city's been they're kind of like halfway through a 20-year plan that was mandated by the EPA from what I've heard to do some rerouting cleanup apparently before when there was like heavy storms the sewer would overfill or the storm drain would overfill into the sewer one or the other and they either way they would mix and it would go into the runoff, which included this lake and the creek that runs through town after this lake. So it's, it's, there's signs around here in the creek that, you know, you're not supposed to eat anything out of it. You're not supposed to swim in it. But it's slow. They're slowly fixing everything. And hopefully within the next five or ten years, it'll finally get cleaned up enough to be a viable food source again but for now there is definitely no eating of the fish in this lake but they're fun to catch and release Yeah, so she was just fishing down here and these two geese came up and tried to attack her and went off. So um, they didn't try to attack me, they attacked me. I was assaulted by geese today. <laughs> I've never been assaulted by geese. That was terrifying. They must be getting ready to nest there. Yeah, totally got me. Didn't bite me or peck me. They flapped all over me though. I, I felt the wrath of the wings. <laughs> Okay, we are packed up. Everything's clean. Tents down. Actually, everything's cleaner because she picked up that bucket and all that trash around the edge of the lake. Just in this little area, from probably over here to over here, was all that trash. And it's too much for us to carry out, but we do have it piled up 
and away from the water. So yeah, we are about to hike out and head home. Okay, we're about halfway home and it was a really good camp catch and well, we cooked but not the fish because yeah, you don't do that here. But yeah, it was great. So if you're, yeah. So if you're still here, you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.